Man, there's never a dull day as a Washington Commanders fan. I mean, I just finished that video talking about Anthony Walker Jr. breaking everything down as far as his weaknesses and strengths, how he fits on the team, and why we need to sign him and not let him leave that building without becoming a commander first. You can go check out that video if you haven't already. And I'm literally about to get up, go to the gym, all of that. And then all of a sudden, I see Magic Johnson joins Josh Harris and Mitchell Rails for the Washington Commanders bid. I mean, crazy breaking news out of absolutely nowhere. We got to talk about all of that and why it matters why this three-headed monster is easily the favorite to buy the commanders but also why you should not sleep on jeff bezos also what's going on with the michael jordan situation as well because there were some rumors that he may be attached to the commanders we're going to try to see how valid those statements rumors and reports are but this magic johnson thing is real also the commanders are delaying certain parts of their players contracts that they've signed like re-signing deron Payne, danny johnson fa about all of those guys and then signing outside free agents like Cody Barton, Andrew Wiley, Nick Gates, and all of those guys because of this whole new ownership situation. So if for some reason at this point you still didn't believe that the commanders were not only getting sold, but getting sold very soon, like within 2023, this should be further proof. So I'm gonna break down exactly what's going on with that, what that means, and why it's so important. Like we're literally delaying paying players right now. But before we dive into all of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately. And every time I release the phone, of an opinionated video just like this one make sure you pull up every sunday sorry i couldn't do it this sunday i'm pretty busy today as well so i may have to do it tomorrow as in tuesday do a live stream real quick just to recap everything that's happened free agency us signing cody barton us re-signing deron Payne long term all of this ownership news all of that so make sure you stay tuned for that hopefully by tuesday as well tomorrow anthony walker jr is a freshly signed commander's linebacker stay tuned for everything draft free agency mock drafts film sessions everything Thing. I'm working on all of it. Without further ado, let's get it. All right, so out of absolutely nowhere, Scoop, Magic Johnson has joined the Josh Harris group bidding on the Commanders. Johnson has ownership experience with the LA Dodgers, the LA Sparks, and the LAFC, and was part of Harris's bid for the Broncos. Don't forget that part. When Josh Harris tried to buy the Denver Broncos, which is worth way less money than the Commanders, which is really interesting, and boy, out of nowhere, Roger Goodell is finalizing a multi-year extension to remain the NFL commissioner. That's super random. Right before the owners meeting, too, less than a week. But yeah, when Josh Harris tried to buy the Denver Broncos, Magic Johnson was right with them trying to buy it as part of his team for that as well. And then I don't know why it's taking so long maybe magic johnson had to officially see like okay dan snyder's really actually selling the team he probably didn't want to put any money time or effort into actually joining josh harris until he knew for sure that dan snyder was actually selling the team so this may be another clue that yes dan snyder is selling his team and not just period but very soon more than likely before the draft hopefully and quite possibly before this owners meeting but we're going to talk about that and when i see the headlines i keep seeing that magic johnson is joining in Josh Harris for the commander's bid. Don't leave Mitchell Rails out. First of all, again, the name already put together, Harrison Rails, sounds like a law firm, sounds like something you should be behind anyway. But we can't act like Mitchell, Mitchell Rails isn't a billionaire as well, worth almost as much as Josh Harris. And they're both DMV guys. So don't forget him, man. I'm surprised I'm not seeing Rails included in as many headlines as I'm seeing. And honestly, hey, man, Magic Johnson, the more the merrier. This makes me want the Josh Harris and Mitchell Rails, Harris and Rails combination even more. I mean, I'm cool with anybody as long as it's not Dan Snyder. Again, for Jeff Bezos, for how much money he has. Because again, as a Commanders fan outside of the DMV area, I'm from Atlanta. I don't see Commanders anywhere. If I go to Lids, if I go to Ross, anywhere where the odds of me seeing anything commanders in any of those stores is pretty slim lids is my best chance of maybe seeing a hat but if i want a commander's sweater shirt long sleeve shirt hoodie whatever i have to go online to get it and i feel like jeff bezos would fix that we would be everywhere if anything we would be obnoxiously everywhere even worse than the cowboys but of course the mitchell and rails combination now you add in magic johnson that would be the most dependable the most we know how to run a sports franchise combination possible 
We have two DMV guys in there. A lot of people love Magic Johnson. That's an ownership group that we can really get behind. Plus, it wouldn't feel as much like a dictatorship with Jeff Bezos being the sole buyer. Maybe if you add in Jay-Z a little bit. But this one feels a little bit more equal to where Magic Johnson will have a nice portion. Josh Harris will have a nice portion. Mitchell Rails will have a nice portion. It wouldn't feel as much like a monarchy at all. So there are a lot of positives for either way. Again, for me, as long as Dan Snyder sells the team, especially before the draft, I'm happy regardless of who ends up buying it. But also another reason that Magic Johnson may matter is because he has somewhat of a relationship with Dan Snyder. Just like why Jeff Bezos wants to bring in Jay-Z or maybe even like Matthew McConaughey, it was reported to kind of sue Dan Snyder over to potentially sell him the team. Magic Johnson is closer to Dan Snyder than probably Josh Harris and Mitchell Rails. There are literal pictures of Magic Johnson, Jerry Jones, and Dan Snyder on yachts together, like just hanging out, chilling. But again, remember the former NBA star our notable sports investor was also part of Harris's failed bid for the NFL's Denver Broncos last year. He's providing both money and expertise to the commander's bid, said the people who were allowed to speak anonymously because the details are private. The group is one of a handful still in talks with the current owner, Dan Snyder, who was exploring a possible sale amid numerous accusations, investigations into financial impropriety and a hostile work environment. So Dan Snyder is not just a face. He's not just a basketball legacy. He's not just a likable person and he's not even just bringing money he's also again from owning other teams before in other sports leagues nba mlb all of that he's also bringing a level of expertise that maybe in certain areas josh harris and mitchell rails don't have so yeah this combination is easily the favorite as far as what fans probably want the most and also the most realistic because of course it's clear that dan snyder and it's reported tanya snyder do not want to sell to jeff bezos the only difference is are you gonna be willing to take less Less money because you're that petty towards Jeff Bezos. So right now, for sure, this Johnson Harrison Rails combination, you see how the nickname just added a new transformation to it. It just evolved. This Johnson Harrison Rails combination definitely is the favorite to buy the team as far as most realistic. But again, you never know because if Jeff Bezos just comes out of nowhere and says, I I'll pay you double what they're paying, then Dan Snyder may just be like, you know what, whatever. An extra few billion dollars can maybe stop him from being petty. Who knows? But then again, Magic Johnson is adding money to this bid. He's not just writing his name on the line so that Dan Snyder is more likely to sell to him. He's contributing money. So the bid probably goes up with magic johnson included and that may make selling to jeff bezos pretty much a non-factor for dan snyder again unless jeff bezos comes out of nowhere and offers like double but i doubt it also i don't know what was going on march 17th just a few days ago but it was reported in november that someone with inside knowledge to the situation that an ny investment firm was interested in buying the commanders and michael jordan would be a part of the bid this was all the way back in november and we're just now finding out about this a couple of days ago was never able to confirm it but their information included jordan selling stake in the hornets and then suddenly that's why this news is coming out now because jordan is trying to sell the hornets right now so he's been interested potentially reportedly in the commander since november the reason we're just not finding out about it is because that information that came out in november included the fact that he would be willing to sell the hornets and maybe people just brushed it over like he's not gonna sell the hornets and then now that he's selling the hornets now it's like okay maybe this commander's interest is really real also, we cannot forget that just a couple of days ago, March 18th, JP Finley, really close to everything going on with the commanders, he said the commander sales news was in the red zone and now it's first in gold. So it sounds like this is almost done. Like maybe we can even expect it to be done by the owners meeting, which is going down March 26th. Maybe the sale has already happened and we're just waiting for an official announcement the owners meeting who knows i'm just speculating right now but everything that's happened the past say two three weeks makes dan snyder not only selling the commanders more realistic but it also seems like it's gonna happen sooner rather than later and it's quite likely that it can happen before the draft which i really hope happens please also jp finley just said on the air today on the radio that he would not be surprised at all to see the news break the morning of the owners meeting that the team has been sold to josh Harris and his team include Magic Johnson, Mitchell Rails, and maybe some other people that we don't necessarily know about. And then Michael Phillips later in the segment said that he thinks that it's Josh Harris 
if he's making predictions and not being a reporter if he's just going based solely off of reports and logic and not trying to say that it's going to happen but what he thinks is going to happen based on all the information he knows from behind the scenes it's looking like the team will be sold to josh Harris in his group of people again including everybody we just talked about but now and i was wondering about this too i'm like okay leading into free agency and as far as paying deron paying long term and things like that i was wondering like if dan snyder is about to sell the team how does that affect free agency for us how are we going to be able to pay people is dan snyder going to pay out of his pocket for players that he's not even going to be the owner for very soon and so i've been wondering this this whole time i was very surprised when we got the free agency that we were as active as we were i mean it's not like we went out there and signed bobby wagner tremaine edmonds and linebacker or any other top name guys but we were way more active especially quicker with free agency than i thought i mean we were on it day one tampering period in the morning back to back type of thing and it was usually something almost every day since and so then i was like okay how does this work because i know dan snyder's not paying these guys i know there's no way so it's officially been reported that the commanders are delaying signing bonus payouts for new contracts more than normal the implication per sources is that this suggests dan snyder's possible sell by date honestly i think the payout dates are fairly telling the commanders have structured contracts this offseason by delaying signing bonus payouts until may so it sounds like the team should definitely be sold by may typically players get paid within a month of signing their contract so they should be paid by april but they're delaying it till may so that says something that could mean the sell of the team is close and the bonus payouts become the responsibility of the new owner shouts out the hogs haven for bringing this up the general practice among all 32 nfl teams historically has been to pay out at least a portion of large signing bonuses within 15 to 30 days of the transaction date again most of these are mid-april early mid-april this cycle the commanders have extended the payout date by two months according to multiple sources who have seen the executed contracts like in person that date may 12 2023 according to people who have seen the contracts for defensive tackle deron Payne and two recently signed free agents not a coincidence those and other people involved or familiar with nfl contracts suggested the athletic that this unusual aspect makes sense in conjunction with new owner daniel snyder's anticipated franchise sell by date so it's pretty much safe to assume that this team will be sold before may 12th at the very least but again it's quite likely that it could happen before the draft and you never know it may be announced by the owners meeting again march 26th which i'm really excited about man sunday oh it's about to get real scary if we don't hear anything people are gonna panic one way and if we hear something people are gonna lose their minds and flip out and celebrate the other way either way sunday nfl owners meetings we're not just gonna be where we are right now we're not just gonna be even killed we're either gonna be panicking or we're gonna be overreacting the other way also shout out to commander's post for a twitter thread that has a nice long logical line of thinking that i agree with he said all the way back in early march jeff bezos signed a confidentiality agreement with the nfl and dan snyder on sunday front office got approval to give 60 million guaranteed to deron Payne after being on a budget freeze all off season anybody else smell that is coming soon my guess is josh harris and his team have offered somewhere between five to 5.5 billion to snyder snyder wants more and then he finally let jeff bezos make an offer behind the scenes that we haven't necessarily heard about harris brought in mitchell rails to compete and raise the offer but they still have a limit it's bezos if he wants it it's Harris's if not. I'll add, it's possible Snyder leaked info on Bezos signing an NDA in efforts to push Harris and Rails to bid higher. Ultimately, Snyder wants to sell to Harris but isn't going to leave money on the table, so we'll see. And then an update on this from a source at NY Post, the report on an NDA being signed by Bezos was confirmed by sources on both sides, meaning Snyder and Bezos confirming this information. So it's not a smoke screen from Snyder to push Harris to bid, it's true. More from NY Post source. NDA between Bezos and Snyder now allows Bezos in on the process, allows Bezos to review financials of team due to his due diligence. Now up to Bezos if he wants to make an offer and for how much, Harris and Tillman Fatita bids are at about 5.5 billion. So everything up until those last four lines that I just read are all speculation. I agree with the logic. I think a lot of that could very possibly be true. So I just wanted to give y'all that example of like a line of thinking and logic of what could be going on behind the scenes and like 
if Jeff Bezos wants it, it's his. If he doesn't want it, it's not. But it sounds like Dan Snyder has officially been open to letting Jeff Bezos bid on the team if he wants to, because Dan Snyder probably is willing to take Jeff Bezos with more money than everybody else with less money. We'll see how it goes down. Again, we may know by this upcoming Sunday, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Please get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. Please leave a like on this video if you liked it, if you learned anything. And as always, man, I appreciate all the support, man. Shout out to all of my sponsors, especially my Pro Bowl sponsors, whose name is scrolling on the screen right now again let me know how you feel about jeff bezos the team delaying contracts and what's that mean for the timeline for the sell of the team the owners meeting could it potentially be announced then a lot of people are saying that it could be jp finley saying that we were in the red zone now we're first and goal on the sell of the team and magic johnson joining in potentially michael jordan wanting in as well let me know how you feel about all of that and i'm gonna catch y'all later i'm out